So I'm a senior and um, I actually, at that time, I met my husband, who's my husband now. So I've been with my husband for 23 years and he's from Chicago and he's, he's like more fun than I can ever imagine. And I was a senior and I met him. He's from Chicago and um, I fell in love. And I think that's like the best thing that ever happened to me. So instead of taking one of these boring jobs that I was interviewing as an engineer, environmental services, one was in Ohio, one is when, and one was in, um, I got a job in um, Texas, um, oil field services. Imagine me on a rig. Jesus Christ, <laughs> imagine me on a rig. No, thank you, with heels and makeup. And I'm um, interviewing with these companies. And then I fell in love, met my husband. And I, and I, this is crazy. I just said, I'm not taking a job. Let's just move back to Chicago. <laughs> mm-hmm. In Chicago, outside mm-hmm. of Gary, he's from Chicago, and so he was interviewing with some companies, engineer as well. And um, I left Purdue, and with this great degree, worked my <laughs> tail off for four years. And I get to I get to Chicago. I'm staying at his mom's house, and this is what's going to really make you laugh. And I was like, I'm not ready to to commit. I wasn't ready to get a job yet because I didn't want to be an engineer. So I'm trying to figure this out. And uh, my daddy, Birdman, he cooked tacos at a liquor store in Gary. And he says, just come work with me at the taco shop. I said, Dad, do you know if anyone sees me there, they're going to be like, this girl's an engineer. She's at the taco shop in Gary. But I did it because I love my daddy. And I went to work with my dad at the taco shop for the summer. And then I said, okay, fine. I'm going to go get a job. So I went to interview with Eli Lilly um, for an engineer because that's what Purdue engineers did. And thank God, Brett, the recruiter, another person was like, you do not want to become an engineer. And um, he was like, you need to be in sales. So I took a sales job because it was high paying, um, ended up in pharma sales. And you know, back then, pharmaceutical sales was the place to be. Everybody was good looking and smart right. and they made a lot of money. But I was bored out of my mind. It was just mm-hmm. like, I'm a, I'm a glorified caterer is how I felt. I felt like I was too smart for it. Um, even though the mm-hmm. money was great, I think I was pushing on six figures at that young age coming from Gary. Mm-hmm. Um, got married at 24. People think that's mm-hmm. crazy. Um, mm-hmm. Had my first baby at 25. I did too, by the way. <laughs> did you? Okay. Yeah, 24. I had my first at 26. So yeah. Oh, and I, then I had my second at 28. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I maybe caught up to you by then. Because uh, <laughs> I have, um, I had three by the time I was 30. So did yeah. So if I had my third <laughs> at 30. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> and then I'm done. I hope you were done. You're done? I was done too. Yes. <laughs> that is so yeah, funny. Definitely People done. Think it. Yeah. And so think about mm-hmm. this, Brett. My girlfriends were partying. You know exactly where I'm going with this. Here I was, yeah. like I'm nursing and I'm, I'm I have this great career. My husband and I started doing real estate. So I'm 25, you know, I have my first baby and my son. I love being a mom. Like it was the greatest gift in life. Um, but I'm still this ambitious career woman. So I kind of felt like, oh my God, what am I doing? I had the pressures of like, I'm wasting my life away. Um, and then this is when it all changed. This is the turning point that you've been waiting for. What happened? Um, at 28 years old, oh, sorry, 28 years old, my son was, um, he had, he wasn't quite, he was three. Um, that's when the princess was really big. And I hate to say that because, you know, mm-hmm. but these reality TV shows were like massively like popular and people were starting these businesses. I always knew that I wanted to have my own entrepreneur and I want to create legacy and it was just booming. And, um, I heard a radio announcement. Richard Branson, Richard Branson. I love Richard Branson. Like when you mm-hmm. want to list out entrepreneurs that I admire, he's one of my favorites. Richard mm-hmm. Branson was having a casting call for his new reality TV show, Rebel Billionaire. So I'm, I'm going to mm-hmm. really spark your memories here. <laughs> um, yeah. I, was tw- I was 28 years old. It was at the Virgin Mega Store downtown Chicago. And um, I just woke up and I said, I'm going to go. And my husband looked at me like, girl, go back to bed. What is wrong mm-hmm. with you? And I show up and out of 250,000 applicants, I got applicants, I got selected to be on a reality TV show. Wow. That's great. Aisha Ceballos Crump from Gary, Indiana, Puerto girl is flying to London to go to Richard Branson's castle to be on a reality TV show. It was like, it was just that turning point in my life where like anything that I want to do, I will do. (laughs) 